What happens in a world where everything sucks? Two musicians are unemployed and force their friends to be on their podcast. On today's episode, we talk to Nathan Willett about Generation Z. Hi. 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 Good to see you guys. Good to see you too. I'm sorry, I'm eating. I'll stop. (laughs) That's okay. It's your podcast. Eat away. Have you guys done these before? Is this brand new? (laughs) You know, we keep getting asked that. (laughs) Which is not to say that you're not... Killing it. Professional qualities. Between. 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 Two bald girls. So before we get into it, let's like just warn you a little bit what okay. we're going to be discussing. Okay. So we're going we to are be going to be talking. Talking to the mic, Hannah. Yes, of course. We're going to be talking about the future. Uh-huh. And particularly the future as it relates to young fans. Okay. So we're going to talk a little bit about... Hannah's scaring me right now. <laughs> Maybe you should take over. We're going to talk a little bit about how we feel like we don't understand kids these days. Okay. We're going to talk about TikTok. Oh my we're going to talk about yeah. Gen Z. And I want you to know in advance that Hannah has done hours of research. Yeah. None just, of this I knew before. Just in order to be oh, able great. to ask you the questions. So we're all in this together, Yeah, is what we're saying. Great, great, great. For the rest of the episode, please keep an ear out for how many times Hannah says she's done research. So obviously we toured together. Oh, are we starting? I'm starting. We're on, we're rolling. We're rolling. Yeah. Um, we I, have with I us. Thought, I thought we were rolling <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> oh, we've been rolling. I was rolling. Um, We're rolling. We have we have with us Cold War Kids' very own Nathan, and it's beautiful to have you on the podcast. We spent what feels like years together, but was only weeks. Really, oh the last God. time I had fun. Honestly, the last <laughs> time I had fun <laughs> before lockdown. I mean, and was that a lifetime ago or what? It was I, February. I like, can't believe it's it was still March thing. right now. Yeah, <laughs> and it was definitely a highlight of my life to be on tour with Cold War Kids and to see the way you guys tour and make music and just like exist. And Mm. gosh, it makes me, I feel nostalgic about Mm. it. But one thing that Hannah and I noticed while we were always at the merch table after our set was that you guys have, you have a lot of longtime fans um, a lot of kind of like mid thirties, early forties guys who often came up to us saying, "Wow, didn't think I would like a female duo, but you guys are all right." <laughs> and flipped, we were like, "Thank you." We flipped the merch table a few times on them, but but also we were we were surprised because you guys, Cold War Kids, has millions of Gen Z fans, and, and this is a feat. Like, this is I like, don't I don't know how you capture those kids. Yeah, M- metaphorically, Hannah. Means. Of course. <laughs> yeah. And and so we were thinking to ourselves, wow, this entire generation of young folk who we just don't understand anything they do or say are massive Cold War Kids fans. And so we wanted to talk to you about how you connect with them. We have a few games prepared. Yeah, to play with you this afternoon. Okay. A variety show, if you will. Great. <laughs> that involves some Gen Z concepts. Yeah. So, Nathan, we obviously did a, a bit of TikToking together while on tour. Uh huh. How would you do? Des- you remember that? How would you describe I do, yeah. that, ex- that experience? You guys, I mean, most of my exposure to TikTok, <laughs> all of it up to that point, was from you guys. I mean, whenever I'm on TikTok, I feel like I am seeing something that I am not supposed to see. Like, I'm just too Mm. old for it. Mm. And Mm. (laughs) there's like 13 and 14 year old girls with their like, like little tube tops over like no boobs. Yeah. Yeah. Like doing these dances to like Megan Thee Stallion. And I'm like, how did I get here? And why has it been three hours? (laughs) Yeah, I feel the same way where I'm just like, what? Uh. 
I mean, so I guess what I see is only on Instagram people, I guess, replaying their TikTok. I I mean, I don't even know. I don't even know. How do you do that? Yeah. I don't even know 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 how that happens. (laughs) Yeah. Do people just, do they take them from TikTok and just put them on Instagram, which seems pretty simple? I mean, that seems simple enough, except like they have a whole thing where at the end of the like clip, it shows their TikTok name. Right. So they must have edited like redirected it together. it towards... Edited it. Edited it. Who did the research like, a- here? I mean, you guys need to know more than I know. <laughs> you're, because you're what I know is so right. basic and 40-year-old <laughs> white guy. Right. Like, it's yeah. actually probably kind of a shame that I know so little, but you guys did some research. Hannah, well, Hannah took it upon herself to do research for good. this episode, so I'm also in the dark with you. There it is. Second mention of Hannah being a researcher. Yeah. And I can tell you now that we actually have an expert coming onto the show. Oh. Yeah. In a few minutes. Oh, okay. Great. Um, just someone who this is kind of our MO. We just surprise we <laughs> This is the podcast. Guest. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's about guests. It's called oh, I don't know if we've told you anything. It's called Between Two Bald Girls. Okay. And so it's like do you know Between Two Ferns, I the do. Zach yeah, Galifian? Yeah, yeah. So it's like that. Like, it's interviews, but it's funny. Would you text you know who the yeah, Zoom link? I would. Um, we so have a surprise guest. We have a surprise guest that is going to enlighten all of us on... Um, on Gen Z. On Gen Z. Great. Um, which will be helpful. But maybe we could play Would You Rather with Nathan. Yeah. Um, and we, save the other game for with our special guest. Yeah. So Nathan, I've done copious amounts of research on um, <laughs> some subjects that Gen Z partakes in. Oh, Hannah, you did research? And we're going to play a game of Would You Rather. I, as I said, you know, I, I've been studying this for a few weeks now, but if either you or JJ doesn't understand a term, um, please ask, ask me and I'd love to attempt up. to explain it. Okay. 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 So cue the themed music. Okay, <laughs> Nathan's face is like. <laughs> I just, yeah. <laughs> Would no you rather? Um, okay, here we go. Collab with Billy Eyelash <laughs> or Little Nos X. Little Nos. Little, Little Nos. T T L E. Um. Uh. I mean, probably Eyelash. You know, she's got some sweet, sweet, jazzy, um, <laughs> chord changes. <laughs> I dig it. Yeah, it's like, again, I feel like Billie Eilish is not speaking directly to me, but I feel like I can benefit from her <laughs> from her music. Yeah, yeah, that part's not a joke. For sure, for sure. Here's the next question. Okay. okay. Would you rather have your song play on Euphoria or Stranger Things? Euphoria, oh. right? Well, yeah. I mean, Nathan so far is like Nathan's super hip right now. He's understanding oh, every every term I've thrown at him. <laughs> I, on the other hand, have never seen either show. I I haven't either. Listen, the great okay, thing okay. is I haven't either. I watched These days, the entirety. Do you even of both. need to see the show. Yeah. You, I know what it's yeah. about. You looked yeah. at the cliff notes. I looked. Yeah. yeah, I saw the cliff notes. Um, to research for this episode, I watched all of both. Hannah researching. Fancy that. Um, <laughs> it's true. I would probably go for Euphoria too. I think that's I the, feel like it's more glam. It's glam, yeah. A little edge. It's got an edge. A little edge to yeah. it. Yeah. 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 The kids that are still like <laughs> the kids that are doing drugs, they're watching Euphoria. Yeah. The kids and those are, are the kids that, that I want to roll with. They're doing Stranger Things. Okay, now we're gonna get into a deep cut. Would you rather be friends with Charlie? De Amelio or Dixie De Amelio? I don't know. No, I don't. Lost me on that one. <laughs> Never heard of them. Would you rather? We're not gonna find out. <laughs> yeah. No, you guys are gonna have to look are that they up the on the Google. The biggest TikTokers after this. in the world. Yes. Great. Okay. I mean, Very good. Great. Okay. Would you rather Snapchat? Or Insta DM. Okay, that's easy. I know those two. I'd rather slide into the DMs, I think. Oh, you'd slide in? Yeah. Nathan? Uh, yeah, same. <laughs> I don't <laughs> even know in. if Snapchat okay. still exists. I don't know if it does. Does it? Does it? We'll look that up. Yeah. We'll have a fact checker. We need a fact checker, fact checker we, for we need this a fact episode. Checker. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. Let's press on. Would you rather smoke a jewel or a pipe? 
Ugh. Like, are we talking like an old fashioned? Yeah, like a cool pipe. Oh, <laughs> but the but Gen Z would would think it was dumb. Oh, mm. so this question is like, am I gonna succumb to Gen Z ideas of cool or traditional forms of smoking? Yeah, pretty much. Nathan, what about you? Um, are we ta- are we are we talking about pipe like like a like a put a little <laughs> tobacco in the in the thing? Um. Ugh. Um, I guess Jewel. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Feels a little cleaner, like only a little cleaner. Mm. Yeah. But that, I mean, it's also so much, yeah, it's like more artificial, but a little cleaner. Mm-hmm, I'm not going to get the mm-hmm. tobacco like in my mouth. Right. Know? Yeah. You don't want that. Mm-mm. You don't want But that. I might get a little like glass and things that are in. <laughs> right, right. The glass shards from the Jewel. Right. Yeah, that's scary, but at least I don't Less know. Than yeah, like, ideal. Which one do you want? <laughs> right, right, right. Um, okay, COVID or climate change? <laughs> oh my gosh. This is what, so hard. What are we choosing here? <laughs> <laughs> You're choosing between COVID and climate change. Um I mean Just leave COVID it is a temporary existential threat and climate change is an eternal one. Mm-hmm. That's deep, yeah. Yeah, so I guess I'll take COVID. Would you rather pierce your septum or your nipple? Ooh, I guess septum. I mean, I like it a lot more. Nipple, it's very 90s Dave Navarro and just... Rubbing it to your shirt all the time, like ouchy. Mm, mm. Yeah, JJ's done both. <laughs> I've I can <laughs> confirm to okay. the world that I've experienced both. And but does it does does septum get caught on stuff ever and and like pull and like ouchy or no infection? No, it doesn't. It's been really good. Um, I can't say the same for nipple. Mm. Um, <laughs> Tugging. So. The name of this episode will be I Can't Say the Same for Nipple. For Nipple, yeah. Yeah. Wait, Nathan, what, like, what gen are your kids going to be part of? Yeah. How old are they again? Well, I have six and two and one two, one and almost two. Um, I don't know. I should know. (laughs) <laughs> like on to Z, like where do we go back yeah, what to happens A? after Restart, C? Restart A. I have no idea. I sometimes, <laughs> I sometimes think about like, will my kids and I don't have them now, but I'll per have se. them soon. soon. Mm-hmm. Um, will my kids like think that the music that I listened to is cool, or are they going to be like, oh, this is mom, so lame. lame? Like, check out this like neo cyborg rap. Like, this is mm-hmm. like what is cool now kind of thing, you know? <laughs> maybe you'll, maybe it'll like transition. So like what you're listening to now is going to be classic. Oldies, yeah. Oldies. Yeah. That's, that's definitely what happens. Right. I like to um, get in this argument with guitar player David Kwan because ah. he's like, probably like he's on the younger side of where he still thinks that it's like, that he either is relevant or like that it's even possible for him to be relevant and it's like right uh, I, I will always like just come at him with like everything that you know and think about even like being real you're, you're so far gone and like to him he's like <laughs> no, no 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 like i the like the scariest thing to him is like i don't want to be like this uncool dude that's totally clueless about what's happening I'm like you already are you there's nothing you can do about it oh, it's just on. age like come on yeah Poor little guy. I know. Okay. S- speaking of Quan, yeah, um, who we know personally because he is the guitar player in Cold War Kids. Right. He's he, a real rascal. He's a little rascal. We were warned about him. We were told. Oh, really? This guy. Yeah, because we have a mutual friend. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and that mutual friend warned us and said, "Watch out for Quan. Watch, watch out, out for Quan. this little rascal." So we yeah. did. Yeah, and he turned he's out gonna... to be exactly the riot oh we were warned of. Yeah. But Quan, I remember in this tour, had to leave yes. because of a family emergency. Yes. Mm-hmm. And our very own Sarah Lupa, yeah. our guitar player, mm-hmm. had to substitute guitar 
<laughs> play guitar for Cold War kids. So joining us now is the one and only Get Sarah out Luka. of here. <laughs> <gasps> Hi, Sarah. Between, between, between two bald girls. So, we've invited Sarah Lupa because she is the only person that is, we know. Yeah, oh. the only person we know that is close-ish Plugged to into Gen, Gen Z. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Great. so we thought maybe she could teach us a little bit about what that's like. Um, <laughs> you know, tell us yeah. how, if the kids are all right. Sarah, tell us what it's like. It's like a, I feel like every day I learn something about that's happening in Gen Z. Because technically, I, I know I'm part of this generation, but I definitely feel like I'm not the trendsetter. But I I feel like every day I'm like, wow, what is that word that everyone is using? But I must use it now. Mm. Can you tell us about some of that? Because we've heard that Gen Z has a lot of cool like slang. Like its own vocabulary. Yeah, we'd, we'd love to hear about some of that. Uh, let's see. Maybe one is like, we're going to go out. Like, you're going to go out. I heard this the other day and I was like, I don't know if I'll use that, but interesting. Let's go out and party and let's get absolutely zooted. Tonight. <gasps> Zooted? Zooted. <laughs> Not related to zoot. Suits. First of all, I don't go I don't go anywhere. And that's not because of COVID. <laughs> that's just regular. <laughs> See, but also I did hear another thing, same definition of zooted, but I would never use this one because I was like, clearly you guys don't know what certain STDs are because someone said I'm gonna go out and get like we're gonna get absolutely clapped tonight and I'm like oh, no. all <laughs> wait all of these start with going out yeah why is Jen and getting going out right now something. <laughs> yeah I I have no idea like it's going out and I'm like I would not want to go out and get clapped thank you <laughs> no so without further ado. I think we should move on to our next and final game, <laughs> which is a bit of Gen Z Jeopardy. Oh, wow. So as I said, you know, I've, I've prepared for years for this episode and I have done some research. Oh, you did research. Some terms that are used by Gen Z and we are going to play in a Jeopardy format. <laughs> So I am going to read the answers and you will say, what is blank? Okay. I realize that Nathan competing against a Gen Zer is truly unfair. It's truly unfair, but I I have faith in you, especially yeah, based on the, the first bit it. of the podcast. I think you should be confident. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Jay, you can play along, but you're definitely going to be like the slowest. So. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. I, I don't even understand the first question okay. that you've written. So I'm we'll start easy. We'll get harder. Here we go. Question. Who is it for? Oh, you it's should. for it's for everyone. Oh, okay. Do you so think I should quiz them individually? No, because I was just going to say like fingers on buzzers, you know? Right. Yeah. Put your finger, put okay. your theoretical So it's like finger. a speed round. Yeah. It's like whoever like, says the answer first kind of a game. Yes. Yeah. And don't forget the format. What is answer yeah you're okay. disqualified immediately <laughs> if you forget the format okay has gen z ever seen jeopardy no <laughs> this is like we're, we're we're bringing it back this is vintage this is retro <laughs> this is vintage okay here we go number one it's a video streaming service with famous songs featured on it such as me pan su zu 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 tiktok what is tiktok oh Oh my disqualified God. both of you. I said, what is TikTok? Did they say what is? I said, what oh. is? Did Nathan say I what is? I didn't say what is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but unfortunately, because he did answer correctly. Sarah's going to take that one. Okay. Sure, let's... sure. I'll follow the rules. Yeah. Okay, sure. Let's move on. Okay, number two. Can I try? Or you... I mean, you can try. <laughs> Someone who is unoriginal and likes really mundane and normal things would be called this. 
Normie. What is Normie? That's not the answer Hannah has, but that's a better answer. Keep going. What? Someone that's unoriginal. Uh, uh, often, often used in conjunction with the word bitch. Oh, basic bitch. What is a basic bitch? What is basic bitch? Oh. Nathan got in there quickly. Yeah, he did. Wait, would you say Nathan won that I'd round? I'd say Nathan got that one. Okay. Guys, that's filthy. I don't want to win that one. <laughs> <really. laughs> so we're we're a tie game right now. Yeah. Here we okay. go. Number three. There's six questions. Number three. What you would call someone when they're being really over the top? Extra. What is Extra. I'm sorry. I, I, if you're gonna, I get competitive. That was really good. That was good. That was nice. You were really. I also feel like this intense, like, pride to like really represent my people right now. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I don't feel that (laughs) right. Like it's kind of un. It's kind of cool to lose. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. So it's like in a way, everybody wins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, just a few more. I get to be like, I just, I don't get it. Right. (laughs) Okay. An abbreviation of a word that you would call your close friends that is reminiscent of the word kin. What is fam? Yeah! Yes! Nathan! That was impressive. Incredible. Incredible. (laughs) Nice. Great. Really nice work, Nathan. Oh my gosh. So I think we're still tied. This is, it's becoming clear why... Cold War Kids has so many Gen Z fans. Yeah. It's because Nathan's winning Jeopardy right now. Yeah. Yeah. Nathan's got his finger finger on on the the pulse. pulse. Finger on, what is the term for (laughs) understanding all of culture at all moments? Love it. What is finger on the pulse? (laughs) Okay, next. I want more. We're going to put Jeopardy music into this, by the way. Okay. There's two more questions. We're at a tie. So oh the, my God. Sarah this is better a really not be on deal. Google. The Here tension, we go. The tension. Sarah better not be on Google while she's checking. Are these you on the Google, Sarah? I see you holding your phone. Okay. <laughs> they might be going straight to Siri. Her your audio to her. Oh my God! Siri. Don't ask Siri. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Number five. A humorous video, image, or piece of text that is widely spread is on the internet. What is a meme? Sarah's taken Sarah it. Sarah got it. She's in the lead. Was that the last one? JJ, just one more. You question. need to think of a of a overtime question. Oh my god, I can't. <laughs> I literally there. can't. <laughs> okay. Number six. Okay, so if mm-hmm. if Nathan if gets Nathan this, we're in overtime. This, we're in. We need a bonus question. Oh yeah. my god. Oh okay. my god. Oh my god. Okay. What do you say? What you say? <laughs> <laughs> I'll start over. What you say when a person over 45 gives you smack? <laughs> gives you Stop. smack? Uh, <laughs> gives you smack? That's some Gen X um, uh, Oh, what is clapback? <laughs> <laughs> no, no way. That's a good guess. Cool. Shoot, Close. that was a good guess. Okay, let me rephrase the question. Uh-huh. An expression that you would respond with when a f- person <gasps> over 40. What is shade? Also close. really close. It's good. It's oh. good. When a person okay. going, over 45 <laughs> says something that reveals Show, their age. Yeah, yeah I was going to say shows their age. Oh. <sighs> Can she quench it? Sarah Lupa, our Gen Z expert. Um, we need more hints. Try to put yourself in the moment, you know? Yeah. Do a little role play with yourself. Oh, Boomer. Okay, Boomer. What is okay, Boomer? Okay. Ah! Did anyone say what is? Uh, yes, yeah, Sarah Lupa. Said. I can't believe oh. it took me that long to no, get. Me too. Yeah. I'm mad at myself. Gen Z <laughs> moves so fast. Usually, that was really good. Wow. Okay. I just. Yeah. I do feel like all is right with the world that the Gen Zer won the yeah. Gen Z Jeopardy. It'd be a but, little weird if Nathan won. But yeah, Nathan, like, honestly, I am she so has home impressed. Court advantage. That was a great game, though. That was fun. Really fun. Mm. Thanks for playing, yeah. both of you. Yeah, you guys did oh. a great job. Happy to be here. Is this the end? Is that what's happening right now? I mean, I think this, I think so. This might be the end. Okay. 
Well, it's great to see you guys. I feel like we should be doing this once a week. Yeah, yeah. Aside from the podcast, just chit chatting. Yeah. Sorry, we had to up. ask you about such Cutting weird a rug. shit. Yeah. Sarah yeah. Lupa, thank you so much for being our resident. <laughs> yeah, thanks expert. for the cameo. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy to be a cameo right now. Are you kidding? I'm honored. Um, love to you both. Thank you love. for joining us. Uh huh. Love all around you guys. This episode was mixed by Sarah Galvez. 